In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble a Mountfield SP185. We are Machinery Nation, let's assemble. Let's get it unboxed. So in the box, you will find your main mower and handle assembly, which is all joined together, your instruction manual, your mulching plug, and your grass box bits you need to put together to make your grass catcher. Right, let's crack on and assemble. So first of all, we need to unfold the handles and the top main bit here with your controls on it can just lift out over and out of the way for a minute. Bit awkward, there we go. Right, pop them down on the bench. And then these will fold back over like so. Put them up vertical. You've got little wing nuts just here, look. So you need to undo these, lefty-loosey, without dropping them on the floor. And then remove the bolt, pop them down there for a second. And the same with this side. And then once they're out of the way, you can fold that handle back over. Now grabbing one of the bolts again, you're gonna feed that back through the hole, like so, making sure the square part of the coach bolt is located in the square hole. And then do the wing nuts back up again, nice and simple. There we are. Phase one of the handle is complete. Up here you've got your cam levers, so you need to undo these as well. Undo the nut on the inside and pull them off. One there. And same again this side. Now the easiest way I can do that is this. If you haven't got a friend to help you, which it might be worth getting, you can pull the handles up over here. What you want to make sure is that these cables are in the middle of your mower frame. So these are coming up through and up to here. And then sort of resting on your head, you can then take one of your cam levers and push that through the hole this side, out there. There we go, and feed it through the hole. And while it's resting on your head, you've got your other hand to be able to screw on your bolt, opening up your cam lever, winding that in, and then winding it down. And now look, I'm no hands. So now you can make it easier on your cam lever the other side, so you've got your cam lever there and your bolt. Thread that through the hole from the outside. Have the nut and screw that on. We go, open up the cam lever to give you a little bit more bolt to play with. Do that up a little bit more, and then you can pull the cam lever down until it's tight enough that it's locked in place. There we go. On your cam levers, I folded them down, but my advice is for you to take them out, turn them round, and fold them that way. So then if you're going up against a hedge, you're not getting branches stuck in behind them. Right, so now you've got some just wobbly cables around which are just gonna get in the way. Well, luckily on this side, you've got the cable tidy and you can pop that over the cables like so, and then you can clip it in place. Once that's clipped in place, you can then manipulate your cables to where they need to go. So now they're down there nice and tidy out of the way of your grass box. So on the back of the mower, there's a big yellow sticker saying that this mower and engine is shipped without oil in it and you definitely need to put oil in before starting. So oil is next. So if you remove your dipstick and place a nice little bit of tissue underneath there, and then you can pop in a nice funnel. You'll need a funnel, it's not supplied with the mower. And if you take your oil, oil for this engine is rated at SAE 30, so it has a type of oil you want. And then gradually fill it up, taking your time, no rush. So as you fill the mower, just every now and again, Dip your dipstick. It is a dipstick, not a screw-in stick. So you'll find that you don't screw it in to get your exact level, you just dip it. And then on your dipstick, you'll see there, there's a hashed area, and you want the oil to be in the hashed area, the higher end of the hashed area. As you can see, we're just at the lower end at the moment, so we need to add some more. As you can see now, the hashed area is completely full with oil, which means that is exactly at the full mark. And then you can take your dipstick and screw it right back in. So now we put the oil in, we can sort out the pull start. Yes, we need to get this one up here. So before you pull that up there, you need to tighten up the bracket at the top. So you need a 10 millimeter spanner, and all you do with that one is hold it in place and just screw that up. You haven't got to go all the way in yet. There we are, so we're a little bit further forward. Just put your mower up a little bit so there's no drag in underneath it and then hold back your handle here, which will release the engine brake, and you can pull your handle up to meet this, and then you can tuck your string in through there, and then you can take your spanner again and tighten that right up. So in with your instructions, you'd have found a little plastic bag, which has got a little black knob inside, and most people don't know where this goes. Well, I'm gonna show you. 
So at the moment you'll see that your grass box flap is completely closed so that no grass can come out the back. So let's just say you want to rear this jar so the grass just comes out the back and just you can leave it behind. Well if you lift up your grass flap you'll see that there is a little hole under here and this little knob that came in the packet can just be pushed in there like so and then you can let that back down again and what that does is leave a gap at the back of the mower so as you're mowing the grass can come out behind and just leave behind in rows. And if you want to mulch your grass, you'll need the mulch plug. And that fits in the back as well. You lift up the grass flap, and then your mulch plug can slide in with the handle facing upwards, twist it in round, and then just push it down. So you've got two little knobs on each side there, which fit into the bottom to lock it in. And then to take it out, just give it a pull, twist, and out it comes. Right, so to assemble the grass box, you've got the lid, you've got the main bag, and you've got the frame, and it's fixed in by two screws and two washers. So it's very, very simple. All you're going to need is a screwdriver to do it. You can pop the grass box down there like so, have the frame round here. These two bits on the end of the frame, you'll see have got two holes in there. So they go into there like so, come in on the angle, line them up, and then you can have them in there and then they just push down into the recess. That's really, really simple. So with the screws and washers, take the screw, pop it through the washer and then they all go into the hole to the front of the frame and that's what will hold the frame in place. So pop them in there and screw them down nice and tight. So now that the frame is in, you can put the grass bag on, which is probably the most fiddliest part of the whole operation. One thing you want to make sure is that the Mountfield logo is on the outside of the box, not on the inside. So make sure it's the right way around before you start. And then you've got these plastic rims along here and how they work is they sort of slot in onto the bars. So make sure you've got them pushed in all the way around before. So it's coming through the metal pole. And then you can push that on all the way along and then it'll just clip on. Same on the sides. So push them up through there, just start it on the corner and then once you've got the corner started, you can just push them on nice and easy and then they'll all just clip on in one go. So once you've done that on all three sides, you then need to deal with this. So how this works is this rubber slots in to the groove all the way around the outside of the box and all I can advise is that you just gradually put it up through to start with. You don't push it all the way in, just make sure you've got your corners and everything correct before you push it down. So as you go all the way around, so make sure you've got that right, because once it's in there, it's very difficult to get back out again. So as you work away, your way around that corner, just push that seam all the way down through, making sure you've got enough all the way around. I've gone a little bit too far there. That's fine, because that'll slot in. Work your way back up to this corner. And now once back to this corner, manipulate that rubber down round, and you can push it in a little bit tighter, but not all the way in one go. Come round to the other corner and push that down. Gotta get it lined up all the way around. Push that down through. And then again, just manipulate it all the way down round, because you've got enough rubber down on this end and the same on there. That's all looking good. So now get that all lined back up again. And then you want to be able to push it down all the way in there. So if we start on the back, you can hear it clicking into the little clickers as it goes around, because the little lip of the rubber will get caught on the little plastic clips and that's what will hold the grass box together. So you can see where the rubber has gone down below the plastic clip. And here, I haven't quite got that on down yet, so as you push that down through, you'll see that rubber meeting with that plastic. And it will clip all into place. And there we go. That is your grass box complete. So now all that's left to do is start it. Right, let's give it a pull. So yeah, all you do is the front handle here, you hold that one in and then you pull the rope because it's all automatic choked. You haven't got to turn the fuel in. So as long as you've got petrol in there, you hold that one back and give this one a few pulls and she should start right up. Right, let's see how many times she starts to, takes to start. One start, one start. And then to dry, all you do is hold this one in. So holding that handle and then the wheels go around. So 
So now you know how to assemble and start a Mountfield SP185. I hope this video has been useful. I hope your machine is now assembled and I hope you have a beautiful lawn for as long as you can possibly have. Enjoy yourself. Please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.